Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to create and customize the navigation menu within WordPress. By default, WordPress automatically adds menu items when new pages are created. If any pages are nested, then WordPress creates submenus, with the parent page being on the top level and child pages appearing below it. An example of this would be the About Me section, with About Me being the parent page and my equipment and playlist pages being child pages. You'll also notice the title for each navigation item is identical to the page name. Although this could work okay, it's not ideal as you may want to change the title for these navigation items and you may want to add other items besides pages to the navigation menu. Go to the Menus subpanel by hovering over your site name and then selecting Menus. Alternatively, from the dashboard, hover over Appearance and then select Menus. In the Menus subpanel, you can create custom navigation menus for your website. To create a custom menu, enter a name for the menu. It's a good idea to give it a descriptive name so it'll be easily identifiable when you have multiple menus. When you're happy with the name, click Create Menu. At the top, there are two tabs. We are currently in the Menu Editing tab. In this tab, we can customize the menu structure by adding, editing, rearranging, and deleting menu items. In the Manage Locations tab, we can specify the location for a menu. Simply put, when we create a new menu, we need to specify where on the website we'd like that menu to display. The theme we're currently using, 2014, supports two menu locations, the top primary menu and a secondary menu in the left sidebar. We just created the top navigation menu, so beside top primary menu, use the drop down and select the menu we just created, and then click Save Changes. We have just told WordPress for the top primary menu, we'd like to use a menu called Top Navigation Menu. Go back to the Edit tab. Notice under Theme Locations, the box beside Top Primary Menu is checked, indicating where the menu will be displayed. You can change this location at any time by checking the boxes and then clicking Save Menu. You can also change the name of this menu at any time by entering a new name at the top and then click Save Menu. To add items to the menu, choose from the modules on the left. We can add pages, links and categories. Expanding screen options will let you toggle additional modules like posts, tags and formats. For now we'll leave these settings as is. In the Pages module, the most recent tab shows a list of pages recently created. View All tab will display a full list of pages on your website, and if you have a large number of pages, you can use the search function. The Links module allows you to add custom links to the menu. The Categories module lists all blog categories on your website. I'll go ahead and add all pages to the menu. Simply click Select All. Then Add to Menu. You can rearrange the display order of these items by dragging and dropping. You can create submenus by placing an item below the parent page and then dragging it to the right. To edit each item, simply click the down arrow on the right side, then make the necessary changes. To remove a menu item, expand item settings, then click remove. After you're finished customizing your menu, click save menu. We'll then open a new tab showing the front end of our website. We can see our menu is now displayed at the top, complete with nested pages displaying as drop down menu items. We are also going to create a secondary menu that displays all post categories as well as a link. Go back to the menus subpanel, then click create a new menu. Enter a name and hit create menu. We'll tell WordPress to assign this menu to the secondary menu location by checking the box and then clicking save menu. 
Remember, you can also assign menu locations in the Manage Locations tab. For this menu, I'll add all post categories. I'll also add a custom link to Google. Expand the Links module and enter a URL for Google. We'll then specify a title for this menu item. Click Add to Menu. Save Menu, Refresh and View Our Site. As you can see, there is now an active secondary menu on the left sidebar, displaying our list of post categories, as well as an external link to Google. A neat trick with the Links module is its ability to act as a placeholder. So far we have created many items using existing content. What if you don't have any content yet, but you still want to flesh out the menu structure? When you're creating a menu, if you like to plan ahead and come up with a basic menu structure, but do not have any content yet, the Links module becomes a handy tool. I'll show you what I mean. First, we'll switch the menu we are editing. When you have more than one menu, you're able to toggle between menus you want to edit. We'll choose the top navigation menu, then hit Select. We are now editing the top navigation menu. Although I haven't written articles on optimal payment methods for traveling, I'd still like to flesh out a menu structure so I can see what the menu might look like. To insert a placeholder, simply expand the links module. In the URL field, we'll enter the number sign or hashtag and then specify a name for the menu item. Click Add to Menu when you're finished. We'll then create a few more placeholders credit cards, online payments, Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, and Authorize.net. We'll now organize these items into drop down menus. We'll first nest credit cards and online payment under payment methods, then move Visa and MasterCard under credit cards, PayPal and Authorize.net under online payment. I prefer payment methods to display before contact me, so I'll rearrange them. We'll save the menu and view our site. We can now see a new item in the top navigation called Payment Methods and hovering over it will bring up a sub-menu and hovering over Credit Cards and Online Payment will show additional items. Bear in mind, clicking on these items will not do anything as these are just placeholders. As you can see, using the Link module as a placeholder is extremely useful for when you want to get a feel for how your site might look or if you want to plan or flesh out the menu structure for your site, even if you don't have any content yet. Of course, when you do have the content, don't forget to delete placeholders and add in the actual content. Next, we'll be learning about themes.